and welcome to my channel on this rather fresh January day. I thought I'd say hello first but I'm going to take you down so that you can see what I've been doing. Do you remember I'd done some big panels and I said I want to make it into a book folder book like um let's take you down you can see what I'm on about then. It's much easier to show you. Here we go. It's like a traveller's notebook. All my bits on there. All my embroidery. I did actually add some more beads or some beads because I haven't done any beading. So I did add some little beads to that one to see what it was like. Oh, there's a bit there. What I've done, I took that sheet sort of thing. We took that sheet and then we took the darker sheet <laughs> and made that into a cover. And I also put a little bit stuck on here so that I can have a pencil in there because I like to use pencils. Then what I did, once I'd done that, I found two booklets to go in. Now, the booklets have got stitching on them. That's the front of this one. Bits on it. That's actually, I'm still using Carolyn's bits. This is our little squares. <laughs> this was two. So this is the back that I did just stitching on. I didn't add anything else. It was just obviously the squares and then just a range of stitching. The back of this one, I was just doing circles, just for a change. There's a little bit of, well that's circle isn't it, and that's circle. That could be a circle in there and a circle down there. So it's, and it's got ribbon and it's got French knots, not that bit. That was that one. And then you saw this one because this was the one that's got the silver thread round it and it's got its little patchworks on there as well. So at the moment there's only two books in here. They are actually in by elastic. That I did, I need to just about see it, I sewed a piece there, ran it round and sewed it at the top. I did that for both books. Let's have a look if you can see it. So there's the elastic, just keeping it in place. You can add as many as you want for as you know as thick as your um, cover is. I could probably get another one in there easily because I left the bit when I was doing the cover. I put card in these bits, but then I left the edging so that you can get books in there. What do I have in them? Well, in my first one. It's actually um, a day page diary, but I'm not using it truly as a diary because what I've done is added, it's, it's, yeah, it's in pencil. I wanted to keep an eye on what my fibromyalgia was up to. I won't show you it too much because it'll just bore you senseless. Um, so each day, I'll put in the day that it corresponds with and what's been happening with my body. Where am I getting pain? How do I feel? What have I been doing? Are there any triggers? That sort of stuff. So that was book one. In book two, I wanted to write down all my YouTube videos. <laughs> and this got crazy. Look at them. You might not be able to see them. They're in pencil. But just for instance, my first year was 2020. And I did, in that one year, if I can get it over and open. <laughs> Being awkward here. Oh, no, we're still going. There we go. So in 2020, I did 197 videos for my YouTube channel. 
So all I've done is put the date and put the titles. So then I started on with the second lot. We've now got our cat come to see us. Hello, Alice. Yes, can we assist? No, you're not staying. Okay. So now I'm on 21s and they're still going. Alice, you're making all the light go. Get off my sewing machine. <laughs> she wants to eat the thread on it, which is not helpful. But, yes, so there you go. That was the two books that I have in there. Plenty of writing to do. And I thought the covers just really work well. It's a nice tactile book. You can see, just about see, that the books are shorter than the main cover. But that was because if I wanted to put tabs in there, it, they won't be sticking out. That was my plan there. There was a plan to it. But I liked my bits of quilting and it's like, what can I do with it? I've got that many. Need to have something to do. But uh, it works for me. As I say, I've got a pencil in there, which I write in pencil, obviously, in the two books. And there you have it. One way to use your actual slow stitching, apart from pulling off bits, <laughs> still flaking. But yeah, slow stitching at its best. Make it into a book, make it into a purse, make it into a handbag, whatever you want to do with it. So there you go. I should say, on that note, do subscribe. Do give us a thumbs up and subscribe. You know what I mean. Always get them around the wrong way. Um, and like, you know, if you like it, like it. If you want to make comments, make comments. Always ready to hear comments or suggestions. You stay safe, you take care. And it's bye-bye for now.